Imagine where you would be if you couldn't read. Reading unblocks a world of possibilities and is a basic right for every child. In the classroom, a child who can't read will have trouble learning math, science, social studies, and every other subject. In life, it means the inability to read instructions on a medicine bottle, a signpost, or a map, and to communicate in the technological world. Unlike learning to speak, which comes simply by being exposed to language, learning to read requires explicit instruction. Fortunately, there has been extensive scientific research on reading instruction. The ingredients include a healthy child, in a supportive family, a safe and supportive school, effective teachers, and teaching practice. Learning to read requires our attention to what we call the five T's. These are time, teaching, text, tongue, testing. Let's explore these T's. Time. Reading instruction can only happen if there is a sufficient time in the school day allocated to it. Ideally, reading should be taught for at least 45 minutes a day. For the magic to happen, the child and the teacher must be in the classroom together. Children are also encouraged to practice reading at home or during breaks or lunchtime. Teaching Teachers must be trained to provide systematic reading instructions that build the child's reading skills. Teaching techniques for reading include helping children become aware of sounds through rhymes, songs, board and card games, identifying letters, and the associated sounds. Associate an image to a word and a picture to a story. Recall facts from a written text like what was the color of the character's shirt and understand information that is not directly stated in the text. For example, how the characters felt or what the child might have done if she were the character in the story. Teachers must be familiar with these methods or techniques. This requires training and follow-up support as they are mastering the new methods in the classroom. It can take teachers three years or more to truly master a new approach to teaching. Text Learning to read requires that children practice reading. Children must have plenty of opportunity to have eyes on text in order to master their reading skills. Classrooms and schools must be provided with books appropriate for each child's age and skill level. Big books for young children and for beginning readers, leveled reading books and word walls, word pockets, and word trees for incidental reading and to support active involvement during teaching. It is not enough to have text and books in the classroom. Teachers need to encourage children to use them. Teachers' guides help teachers know how to support the children's use of the books and promote genuine reading rather than simply repeating stories written on the blackboard. Tongue Children learn to read best in the language or tongue that they speak most freely. Imagine that a child learns how to sound out letters to form a word but the child does not know what the word means. This is what happens when a child learns to read in a foreign language and it makes it very difficult for the child to comprehend what he is reading. To teach in the local language, mother tongue, teachers and pupils should have access to books in that language and the teacher should be fluent in that language. The fifth and last T is testing. Testing is more than the end of grade or term exam. Testing should be used regularly throughout each lesson to know if pupils are learning what is being taught. This type of assessment allows the teacher to know if he needs to provide more support to a learner on a specific skill while he is being taught, rather than waiting until the end of a unit or term to determine if the pupil is on track. The sooner the teacher can identify gaps in skills and understanding, the sooner the teacher can help to fill those gaps and pupils can progress in their reading. To support the implementation of these five T's, an education system needs to communicate expectations for learning outcomes and teacher engagement. 
monitor progress against those expectations and prioritize resources to fill the biggest identified needs. It is important that everyone shares the same expectations for what it means to read and to read with comprehension and by when. It is the role of the Department of Education or DepEd to clearly define in a measurable way the progress toward reading. DepEd communicates those expectations to schools and teachers and shares them also to the local government units for a holistic support to quality education. Once these expectations are communicated and understood, it is important to measure the progress of children against these expectations by setting achievable targets. This becomes part of the overall monitoring of the system and included in existing supervision routines. In this way, the focus of monitoring shifts from identifying whether something is being done or not to identifying the gaps and solving problems. Planners can use monitoring data to compare schools and prioritize support to those most in need. This way, all children are provided equitable opportunity to learn and all children have the opportunity to learn to read to their full potential.